Bond's house a week ago tonight between 8 o'clock and the bathroom. And the only clue found was a hot dog running away from a stand in Coney Island. And we also remember that during the trial, we were unable to place the guilt where it belonged. Garbo had to go home, Mae West had a date, and the other prisoners were not interested. So it still remains a horrible, unsolved mystery. Who killed Mr. X? I said, who killed Mr. X? Oh, pardon me. Yes. <laughs> Watch those cues. Now, uh, what could have been the motive for this crime? Let us analyze this. Mr. X... Mr. X was the landlord of three apartment houses, so you see he had no enemies. He lost every cent in the market, his wife was pressing him for back alimony, and he had incurable rheumatism, so there was no reason for suicide. Now, what was it? How old was he, Jack? Ninety-five. Then he did not die of old age. Uh, what did he have to suffer the night of the crime? Liver. Then it couldn't have been a heart attack. No, Mary, it couldn't. A pipe was pulled out of his mouth, and he was examined carefully. What kind of a pipe? A gas pipe. Oh, well. Oh, well, a little gas never hurt anyone. Well, anyway, folks, we've had two detectives working on this case. Detective Nelson? Detective Nelson, you've been out on this case a week. Yes, sir. What have you found? I found a place where you can get a sandwich and a glass of beer for a nickel. <laughs> Mary, take down the address, but that doesn't help solve the mystery. Detective Planey, what did you find? I find that every minute of the day, someone buys a Chevrolet. Well, now we're getting someplace. After all, that's what we're here for. Did you find anything else, Planey? Yes, but the Chevrolet has the Fisher no-drop ventilation. That's great. Now, all we have to find out is who killed Mr. X. Jack, why not put it in the hands of Sherlock Holmes, who understands crime? You're right, Mary. We'll get Sherlock Holmes, the man who sees all, knows all, and plays the fiddle. In the silence of the night, when the moon is shining bright, and the world at last is fast asleep, every creature goes to rest in his cozy little nest, just his very own heart. The moon is shining bright in my little land of heavenly blue. I shall never fret or pine, for someday you will be mine. Dreams will all come true. Seven. <laughs> Only one more hour until a quarter of eight. And just an hour ago, it was a quarter of six. Mm-hmm. What a strange world. Mm-hmm. Answer that, Mary. I'm not in. Hello. Hello. You want to speak to Sherlock Holmes? Yes, this is Sherlock's home. But Sherlock isn't home. He's waiting on a case right now. Yes, he's on his last bottle. <laughs> what is it, Mary? It's about that penthouse murder of Mr. X. They want you to start working on it at once. Oh, yes, yes. Mm hmm. I was expecting that case. Tell him I'll take it. Hello. Mr. Holmes just came in and said he'll take the case. Tell Mr. X not to worry. Goodbye. Mary. Mary, call in Dr. Boston. We have work ahead of us. Uh, oh, Mr. Sherlock, uh, I hate to ask you this, but uh, can I draw five shillings to payday? <laughs> That's elementary, Mary. I get it, Sherlock. Sherlock to you. <laughs> Call, uh, call Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson, the boss wants her. Okay, I'm coming. No, <laughs> Sherlock, what's new? Watson? Watson, we have much work ahead of us. Mm-hmm. By the way, you've been eating herring. Is that right? Sure. But tell me, Sherlock, how did you know it? That's elementary, Watson. Besides, I can smell it. Sherlock, you're a genius. Watson, you're a lip box. <laughs> Watson, mm-hmm. We have a strange mystery to solve. 
Mr. X was killed in his tent house, and we start working on the case today. Mm -hmm. All right, but before we start, why don't you eat something? You're always working. <laughs> we leave. We will leave, Watson. We leave for the Empire State Building in ten minutes. The Empire State Building. Pack your bag and hand me my violin. I've got a lot of thinking to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I must think. Quiet. I must think. I must think. Come, Watson. A thought just struck me. We must get to the Empire State Building in a jiffy. Why in a jiffy? My several A will get us there just to sleep. Come, Watson. We must hurry. And by midnight, we will find the murderer of Mr. X. Come, let us away. of the Empire State Building, where we meet Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Tell me, sir, like, why did we come here to the Empire State Building? What has this got to do with the murder of Mr. Hex? Watson, I'm surprised at you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. While playing the violin, I made the following deduction. Mr. X was killed by some gorilla here in New York. Do you follow me? A gorilla was seen climbing up the Empire State Building with a girl in the palm of his hand. And is at present on the tower. Mm -hmm. Now, now if he could climb up a building the size of the Empire State, why couldn't he have climbed up that penthouse and killed Mr. X? You mean the gorilla is King Kong? Of course, of course. Who else is covered with hair like that? George Bernard Shaw. Well, he didn't do it. <laughs> well, here's the elevator. Mm -hmm. What floor, Captain? Uh, we want to go to the tower. That's the 102nd floor, boy. Yes, 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 yes. I know that. Uh, when will we arrive? Sunday night, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, sir, look, that elevator boy looks very suspicious and very family, too. I think so. What's your name, son? My name's Jim Milton, sir. Oh, sure, Jimmy. He's our tenor, Watson. Mm -hmm. Say, Jimmy, I hate to ask you this, but did you, uh, did you kill Mr. X? No, sir, Jim. I didn't kill him. I was a lady killer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Quick, Watson, the needle. Ow! And cut out those jokes. Hmm? Well, we have two days in this elevator. Two days. Hmm. Hmm. I must keep my mind occupied. Hmm. Hand me my saxophone. <laughs> that was Stormy Weather, brought to you through the courtesy of the Chevrolet Motor Company. One in second floor. All out. Hmm. Hmm. Sunday got here quick. Hmm. Now be careful, Watson. And very quiet. Very quiet. Please, follow me around the edge of the roof. 
We must use our wits and trap him. This fellow King Kong is the biggest creature you have ever seen. He eats elephants like you eat salami. You must have... That's elementary, Watson. <laughs> come. Come, follow me. <laughs> The drummer just dropped the cymbal. Frank, keep the boys quiet, will you? Just a moment. Watson, don't move. It's so dark up here. Why didn't we come up here in the daytime? Quiet, quiet. Go ahead. I'm right behind you. I'd, I'd sooner be behind you. Watson, look. Look carefully. Carefully. Mm. You see that figure standing there in the doorway? Yes. Look, look. Somebody is handing him some money. Oh, that's Al Smith. He, he, you know, he runs this building and he's collecting the rent. Hello, Al! Ah, you, You're wrong again, wrong again, Watson. Hey, 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 what is that, Phil? Mm-hmm, that's King Kong. He's here, all right. Keep down, Watson. He mustn't see us. Be careful, Phil. I think he sees us. Grab him, Watson, and don't let him get away. Thank you. <laughs> Look, look, he's got a girl right in the palm of his hand. It looks like Mary Livingstone. Wait, wait, it is Mary. Mary, Mary, what are you doing there with King Kong? There's something in his eyes that makes me realize he got me in the palm of his hand. The thrill of his Mary, we must rescue. We must rescue Mary from that brute. I'm not afraid of him. Hey, King Kong! What's the idea of climbing buildings and carrying women with you? Well, it's human for sport, and I just love the fresh air. <laughs> Is that King Kong? I'll get him. Wait, wait, Watson. It may be a trick. Now, look here, Kong. You've been climbing buildings, dragging people out of their beds and murdering them. Hmm, hmm. Did you climb up to the penthouse on Park Avenue and kill Mr. X? No. You lie. You did, Mr. Warner. Why, you're big enough to eat him alive. Then you admit that you killed him. No, 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 no. Take him away. Take him away, Watson. Goodbye, Mary. I'm sorry. I can't play with you anymore. <laughs> Goodbye, Paul and Harry. Come up again sometime. <laughs> Well, well, it didn't take us long to get him, hmm, did it, Watson? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Who's that? It's me, the voice of the shadow. What do you want? You would think you've got the murderer. <laughs> well, King Kong did not kill Mr. X. Then who did? Mr. X was killed. <laughs> Well, I first learned how to cook. They look so out of place without your smiling face. She's in that little second hand store. I found a little arm chair and the army and the rug. The cold sofa where we used to kiss and hug. My merry folks. So dusty there, dusty, and no one and. In a little second-hand store an end That we got from a friend How they thrill my heart I'm screaming Bring me back a day Wedding day in May When we said we'd never part I seem to hear them whisper You're to blame for you to wrong Why don't you kiss Take a spot where we belong. It broke my heart to see the home you planned for me in that little second hand Mary, Mary, hand me my violin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a thing. Yeah, 